Hi, it's George from Vocally Music and I just wanted to talk to you about using your voice to control synths and instrumentation through Doubler. So I've got the Doubler application open here. Uh, it's the classic default view that shows you all the lists of any profiles that you've saved previously. And in true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I created earlier. It's called G-Dubs and that's what I'll be using today. Okay, so I've opened up G-Dubs. I've got all of these uh, triggers on the left hand side that I've already created, but I'm not gonna really talk anything about those because today uh, I'm focusing much more on this, which is all the synth control on the right hand side. So I've got Logic set up uh, running in the background and I've pulled in a synth here. Um, it's, a, it's what's it called, metallic lead. Okay, um, so that's what you're gonna be hearing as I just uh, talk about some of the stuff that's going on in Doubler. Obviously I could change that out for, for any different synth and in other videos I will do that and show you how you can blend between synths and orchestral arrangements and stuff like that. Um, but for now, just as a kind of basic operation, we're spitting out MIDI to channel one and it's controlling this metallic lead synth in Logic. Okay, so what you can see here in the center, this is our pitch wheel. So starting at the top is uh, C, and then we're going all the way um, around the, the different tones um, back up a full octave, and that way you can always see what position you're singing in. So it's kind of a, as a tool for actually uh, helping you that sing. It's very helpful because you can see basically where you are, uh, and you can know if you're a bit flat or a bit sharp, and you can also see what note you're singing back, um, which if you're not kind of classically trained or you don't have perfect pitch, is probably pretty helpful. Um, also, because it's triggering an equivalent MIDI note, you're actually hearing back the note that you're singing. So if you are singing a bit flat, the MIDI note that's being triggered is, is a pure tone, and so you actually automatically start to adjust your voice to that. So it's quite a good um, singing tool. But anyway, I'll just show you how that kind of works. Um, so there you can see me kind of going up and down and uh, showing the full breadth of the wheel. But if I didn't want to be able to um, trigger any individual note because uh, maybe I was singing in a certain key and I didn't want to have any accidental triggers, um, then what you can actually do in Doubler is restrict the key to kind of to help with that. So if I click up here and click controls, um, then it gives me some options. The first thing I can do, if I want, I can change the MIDI channel. So as I mentioned earlier, as a default, we're sending out to channel one, but maybe you're using a MIDI keyboard or something else, which is already sending to channel one. Um, and so you want to use two things simultaneously and not have any kind of conflicting information, then uh, you can change the MIDI channel here if you like. I'll keep it on channel one. You can put on a key lock. Uh, the moment we've incorporated major and minor keys, but we'll be putting pentatonics and stuff like that all on shortly. Um, and so I'll put it in C minor, a bit more fun. You've got this option here, which is to pitch stickiness. So that really shows, um, it's kind of how far you have to go from one note to the next before it'll trigger a new note. So if you're um, applying vibrato and you want to um, you want to hear that vibrato through, well actually, you'd have to have pitch bend on for that. But if you're, if, you have a, if you're singing a note and you're a little bit wavy and you don't want to accidentally trigger the note above or the note below, then you can have a high pitch stickiness to prevent you from kind of accidentally triggering a neighboring note. But if you want really, um, Kind of acute control then maybe you'd slide your, your pitch stickiness down a little bit as a default we kind of have it around here you can do like i was just mentioning there with vibrato you can actually also apply pitch bend uh, which is also like, like it's really cool for the voice because that's one of the the qualities of the voice is that you can blend uh, you, you can move from one note to the next and and it is um, much more kind of dynamic than a, a single like a kind of a piano or something like that where you, you trigger a very specific tone um, also, if you mic up something like a guitar or something like that, you might want to put on pitch bend so that you can kind of get some of the more expressive uh, nature of being able to do bending strings and things like that. I'm going to keep that on. I've got an octave shift. I've already got a minus one octave shift on here, so that's probably why it's sounding quite bassy. Um, why not? I'll keep that on for now and see what it sounds like. Um, so these are all your kind of options here on the left-hand side. If I wanted to, uh, I could actually restrict more notes by clicking them on and off. Say I didn't want to have, um, I don't know, if I didn't want to have the C, which would be an unusual one in a, in a C minor scale, but I could actually click on that and it grays it out and therefore I can no longer hit that. And you'll notice how it's actually, um, it's also graying it out on the pitch wheel so you can see which notes are and aren't accessible to you. Uh, if you are singing on one of these kind of, you know, blocked out notes, the lighter gray ones, 
All that's going to happen is it's going to trigger the nearest one uh, in your door. So this is what you'll hear now if I try and sing on that. So the other thing that you can see going on here is all of these dials moving around whilst I'm doing that kind of A and I'll talk to you a little bit about what you can do with that in another video. Um, but for now, that was a like, little introduction of how you can be controlling synths and instrumentation with your voice and through Dublin. Thanks very much.